we are now entering the last three sutras of this series the first chapter and they are very you know they are the fitting culmination of what we have been studying so far let us begin with sutra 47 the chanting of sutra 47 to 51 we will do this two times and then go to the meaning of sutra 47 सूत्र फोर्टी सेवन ऑन निर्विचार वैशारध्येध्यात्म प्रसाद ऋतंभरा प्रज्ञा ऋतंभरा तत्र प्रज्ञा श्रुतानुमान प्रज्ञाभ्यामन्य विषया विशेषाथत्वात तज्ज संस्कारोन्य संस्कार प्रतिबंधी तस्यापि निरोधे सर्व निरोधा निर्बीज समाधि निर्विचार वैशारध्ये अध्यात्म प्रसाद ऋतंभरा तत्र प्रज्ञा श्रुत अनुमान प्रज्ञाभ्याम अन्य विषया विशेष संस्कार अन्य संस्कार प्रतिबंधी तस्य अपि निरोधे सर्व निरोधान निर्बीज समाधि ओ let us now proceed to the meaning of sutra 49 this sutra says shruta anumana pragnyabhyam anya vishaya visheshaarthatvat shruta that which is heard anumana that which is inferred pragnyabhyam the pragna which arises from these two anya it is other than that it is different vishaya the subject matter topic visheshaarthatva due to this special attribute you see in the previous sutra and the sutra before that maharshi patanjali has spoken about a special state which comes in the nirvichara state and in this nirvichara state there is the dawn of the rutambhara pragna now he is speaking about this pragna he says that this rutambhara pragna is different from the other two pragnas which are shruta and anuman and it is different because of this special attribute let us understand this slightly better pragna is the knowledge which comes due to gathering of information normally we gather information based on authoritative sources which are known as the shrutis and in relation to these topics shruti shruta means the shrutis and shruti means the vedas and the knowledge of the vedas is one so knowledge from authoritative texts that is one way of knowing and another way of knowing is to anuman inference you have the knowledge of so many things based on that due to the logic due to thinking due to different processes we derive inferences which means that both these types of knowledge pragna are dependent on the senses but there is 
another type of pragna and this pragna is different than this type of knowledge so all the knowledge which we get by studying hard by uh, thinking and by analyzing and all those things is on one side and on another side is the other type of pragna which arises only in a very specific system specific manner when we are at this point of nirvichar state and at that time there is the dawn of this knowledge this knowledge is not acquired because you have studied it you have read about it you have inferred about it it appears it arises it dawns because you have reached a state and reaching that state you connect into that higher source of knowledge it as if just descends and suddenly one moment you don't know anything next moment you are filled with that knowledge the moment before and after so it is this and the basis of this is the visheshartatva that specific attribute the rutambara pragna comes only due to the nirvichara state and till that time we need to use shruti shruta shruti anuman inference so we are bound and limited by the sensorial knowledge that which comes through the senses only when we go beyond can we have the higher source so in the previous two sutras he has spoken about the ritambara pragna the state of nirvichara and here he explains how once you reach that all the cosmic knowledge about the mundane and the abstract in the transcendental it spontaneously arises within the sadha these are the important points which we need to understand then we know the depth and the ability of the state of nirvichara the state of all the types of samadhis the ability for dawning of a different type of a consciousness then we don't work through the senses then we don't work through a uh, logic and inferences we go beyond that actions do happen because actions happen due to the previous karmas but these actions are not propelled by the sensorial knowledge the actions are propelled now they are uh, colored by the higher knowledge higher awareness higher consciousness that changes the entire perspective and everything in life changes so that is the sutra for the day let us ponder over it well over it please close your eyes hands on your knees gyan or chin mudra awareness on the eyebrow center bring back the same image or experience you had chosen in the beginning and maintaining your awareness on this experience let us chant the mantra om three times followed by the shanti part taking in a deep breath oh oh
Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotirgamaya, mrityor ma mrutam gamaya, sarvesham swasti bhavatu, sarvesham shantir bhavatu, sarvesham purnam bhavatu, sarvesham mangalam bhavatu, Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu Om trambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam Urvarukam iva bandhanam Mratyor mukshiyam amratat Om shanti 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 Thanks in Panamudra. Vameva mata chapita tvameva tvameva bandhuscha sakha tvameva tvameva vidya dravidam tvameva tvameva sarvam mama deva deva tvameva sarvam mama deva deva tvameva sarvam Mama Deva Deva Harihi Om Gently rub your palms. Place them on the closed eyes. Experience the warmth radiating from the palms to your eyes. Relaxing the eyes. Nourishing, nurturing the eye. Relaxing nourishing, nurturing the brain and then the whole body. And then gently move the palms away. Open your eyes. Ariyo, Satsar, Namunarayan. Thank you.